Hey guys, this motor is the engine that I pulled out of this 67 Fastback Mustang. So if you've been following along with my videos, you'll know that the seller told me he thought it was a 302 engine. Well, it's not, it's a 351 Windsor, and in a lot of ways, that's a more desirable engine for hot rod builders anyway. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to identify the difference really quickly between a 302 and a 351 Windsor, and also how to look up the date codes and stamps on the motor to know a little bit more about what kind of car it came out of and identify how desirable of an engine you might have on your hands. So here's a real quick way to tell the difference between a 289 302 and a 351 Windsor. If you look at the top of the intake manifold, you can see that the 289 and 302s, they actually have 12 bolts that hold the intake on, six on each side. And a 351, like this, has 16, eight on each side. So without having to pull the engine or look up any kind of casting codes, that's a quick, easy way you can tell the difference while the engine's in a car. First thing, you really don't have to pull the motor to find the casting numbers on the engine. But if you do pull the motor, it's a lot easier to find and locate the numbers on the actual engine block. So I pulled this motor out last weekend and things went pretty smoothly. You don't actually have to pull the hood off of the car to get the engine out. Here's video proof. The truth is, pulling this engine was pretty easy because it was never wired up to the car. I only had to remove the motor mounts, the trans brace, uh, pull the radiator to give a little bit of clearance. Once that engine was clear, it's easy. Pull it out, piece of cake. Now look at this. The location of the stamped code on the block is on the passenger side of the engine, looking up just past the starter. The engine already had the starter removed, so I just took a little wire brush and some degreaser and cleaned off this flat area right here behind where the starter mounts. Once you do that, you're going to be able to see the codes. As you can see here, my code shows C9OE-6015-B-8. Now, with this number, you can look up the code on a website. Uh, so I used Mustang Tech. I'll drop the link in the, in the description so you can click through and look up your engine code. But from the chart, here's what I could tell. I could see that this engine is a 1970 351 Windsor that was cast on February 25th. The C9 means that the block design was from 1969, but the engine was cast in 1970 based on the date code. The O in the C9 OE means it was the intermediate group was for the Fairlane and the Torino, and that was for the specific block casting mold. But the block could be used across any of the Ford Mercury production line as needed. We can also tell that this is an H code engine, which means it's the less desirable 2V version of the 351. It's not the 4V, which is the high performance version of this engine that a lot of hot rodders like to use as a foundation. In order to narrow down the specific assembly plant to get an idea what car the engine might have came out of originally, we need to locate what's called the partial VIN. This is located near the top of the rear block on the passenger side, right over here. Again, I used a lightweight wire brush, some degreaser, and I cleaned that area right up. Right here, you can see the partial VIN, 0P star, 155421 with a 790 just below it. So the zero means 1970. The P means Twin Cities, uh, Minnesota assembly plant. The 15421 or the 155790, those are sequential serial numbers of the car that it was installed into at the factory. Based on some internet research by some of the good guys and gals at the Vintage Mustang Forum, I was able to determine that during the time at that specific assembly plant, Ford was producing Galaxies and LTDs. So chances are, this is what that engine was put into originally. Pretty cool. Are you running a 351 Windsor or Cleveland? If you are, drop me a link in the comments. I'd love to know what kind of car it's in and then also what kind of performance mods you've done to it. I know there's a lot of hot rodders that can squeeze 500 plus horsepower out of these things. Let me know how you've built your 351. And always, thanks again for the support, guys.